I'm here with um, the Civil Wars, which are made up of Joy Williams and John Paul White. And uh, I'm just going to jump right into it since we're kind of you know, running short on time here. Um, I did a review on you guys recently. A, a friend recommended your, your group to me, and I'd never heard of you guys, so I checked it out. And I, I really liked uh, your style and the acoustics and um, just everything you guys do there. And uh, and I know that you know Joy, you've been you've been in the music business for a while, and then um, and John, you've you, you know you've been doing the acoustic thing, and you've got your solo your solo stuff. So I just want to know uh, what brought the two of you guys together musically, you know, to form this group. Um, and feel free to answer as a duo or you know however you go about that. We actually we we actually we sing and harmonize all of our answers. This could be really long. <laughs> Long interview. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we should work on it. No. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty sweet. Done an interview at all? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't we know. met on a blind date. <laughs> <laughs> blind date. Um, yeah, it was honestly we did kind of meet in um, a blind date sort of way. Um, we and among several other songwriters got called to. Uh, it was called a writing camp in Nashville, and it's literally like you draw straws according to like what room you're going into huh. and I had never met John Paul knew nothing about his music and um and the same uh, was true from his side for me and so when we got into the room together to write there's a third person in there and poor guy who's he's amazing but it was like John Paul and I just kind of locked in um, yeah it, you know John Paul says um every once in a while it was like I knew where he was going and he knew where I was going and um I'd never really encountered anything like that before um, just being a solo artist you don't think you'll mm -hmm. ever be in a band but it was it was like I, it just made so much sense kind of from the moment that we started singing together okay yeah I, I definitely can appreciate the whole uh, you know uh, meshing together with another artist another musician that makes it a lot easier to I think to write and perform with each other um, and you guys have been yes. I'm sorry go ahead yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but for me, I would like she said, I would have, I would have never expected to be, be in a duo or a band. I'd always kind of curse the idea, to be honest. But for that very reason, because it's so seldom that you totally mesh with somebody and the two become more than one. And and, uh, and I'm a control freak, and, and I'm sure Joy would <laughs> admit to being. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I, we're both that way. Okay. <laughs> But it, it's not like that with this at all. I mean, it's uh, you know, we're it's like brother and sister where we may you know disagree on certain things, but pretty much we've got the same core values at heart. So uh, it's all been a super easy creative process. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. And, and you guys have been uh, writing and performing for just just about a year now. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, are we? Are we? We've crested a year, haven't we? Yeah, it's probably about a year and a half now since we yeah. actually met. But it was probably a good four or five months mm -hmm. before our second co-ride. Yeah. Okay. Because we were we were doing the whole flirting, like I, you know, I don't I don't know what you're doing next week. But <laughs> yeah. You seem really pretty, and it really sounds. Do you want to Do you want to try and ride something for? Because if you if you, if don't, you don't, it's, cool. it's yeah, it's we cool. don't. I'm busy too. <laughs> I just, you know. So yeah. There's some of that going on, and then finally we. We bit the bullet. And, yeah, uh, started writing. Now, and you guys live in two different states. Is that correct? Yeah. How's that working out yeah. for for writing and everything? Well, I mean, I get. I think I get the. Um, I get the easy side of this because this John Paul, who lives in um, Alabama, drives here often. Has for like a decade. Did you say? Um, just ten years. Yeah, he's just been a writer uh, for a long time here in town. So he's he and his amazing wife and kids are used to him commuting. So um, so I actually, you know, I get to see and write with John Paul pretty consistently. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty normal for me. I think in a you know a perfect world we could spend more time together and we could you know get a lot more material together. Yeah. But um, we value the what time we do have together, and usually at least once a week if we. For our minds do we, we both have our solo careers and we both yeah. do some songwriting and things like that on the outside too so yeah. we stay rather busy mm -hmm. okay yeah touching touching on your solo careers um you know joy i know that you know you know you don't only write your own music and stuff like that but you also do a lot of songwriting for other artists um what would you say your favorite song you've written that's been performed by someone else is oh gosh mm. yikes 
I'm going to have to say Elton John. No, I'm totally <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish it was Elton John. Yeah. Elton John. You no, no one's heard of him. Um, yeah, I mean, I, that's a tough question. I think... Um, I think that's for, a lot of artists. I know. I feel like if yeah. I answer <laughs> Okay. Them, well, you I can just say that you love them all equally. Yes, there you go. Okay. I do, actually. It, yeah. it's, it, I think every time, any time you hear a song that you write that you're proud of, um, getting on someone else's record and, and you know hearing it on the radio or whatever it's always really it's a rush every time mm -hmm. and it's a different kind of rush than hearing your own um, your own music and your own voice or like what we do on the radio um, it's just a different it's a different kind of grin that takes place yeah um, okay but like I think John Paul could probably speak to that a lot more too since he just recently um, experienced some Oh, look at you. He just got bashful. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I did. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, well, you talk about it. <laughs> well, um, I've been driving back forth to Nashville for 10 years doing writing for myself and for other people, so I've been really, really lucky and had some stuff cut in town. But I have a feeling the one she's talking about is, uh, is uh, I have a song on a record that comes out in April the 19th, I think, I just found it. Oh, really? Uh, on Meatloaf. Nice. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so I don't, I don't think any of the other artists that I've had cuts with would be... Like uh, Rascal Flatts and I, Jason Aldean and... I, yeah. Yeah. I don't think any of them would be disappointed that I single out Meatloaf. He, he's kind of... He's unto himself. Yeah. <laughs> weird. You see how that happened? That was weird. Yeah. That just happened. All right. Um, well, you know, talking, you know, John, about some of your solo stuff, uh, you know, I know that a lot of stuff you write is a little different as far as style goes compared to Civil Wars. Um, you guys are working on a full-length album, correct, the Civil Wars? Mm -hmm. Okay, is yeah. that, do you guys see any of maybe John Paul, your influences, that more aggressive, edgier style coming into the Civil Wars, or are you going to maintain the more acoustic uh, folk sound? I, I wouldn't rule out anything, yeah. um, but... We honestly don't ever talk about it. We typically, as today, will be doing it too. Um, we write whatever comes out, and okay. then when we get in the studio so far, we've typically recorded in the, in the acoustic piano, two vocal fashion, and then go from there and see what wind addressing the song means, okay. yeah. so to speak. And there are songs in the pile that would definitely lend themselves to something like that. Mm -hmm. but I think what's a lot of fun about this is that where I come from and then where Joy comes from, from more of a pop background, that mm -hmm. the two things mesh together and form what we're making now, honestly on paper makes no sense. And that's, <laughs> we're trying not to, to, uh, to mess with the formula. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. We have plenty of opportunities on our own, on our own dime, you know, to yeah. explore all that too. So, Okay. So, whatever comes, we take it. Yeah. Um, this might be a little early in the game, but do you have any sort of idea when that full-length album will be kind of, like, what kind of date you're shooting for? Or are you just kind of letting it happen, letting it flow, letting it come? Well, I definitely, we definitely have a time frame that we want to work on. Otherwise, it would just be, like, the never-ending uh, record project because I think we could just write and write and write. But we have... Um, we definitely have a guideline of wanting to have the album out um, late spring or early summer of this year. Okay, great. Yeah. So we're actually, I mean, we're, we're literally, we're writing today, um, and then several, a couple more times, like four more times, and then, like, we start going into the studio within the next two weeks, and it's sort of this, like, cyclical fashion of, well, we've already written this one, so let's record this, and as we're writing new, we'll be doing that, too. Okay. The studio recording it, so, oh. yeah. Let the grand experiment begin. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I really like the song you guys did, uh, Poison and Wine. Um, you know, I, I listened to the uh, Live at Eddie's Attic album, and that's when I first heard it, and there was this, like, tension kind of, you know, between the two of you, and then I watched the video, and it's even more apparent there. Um, did you guys write that song together, or was it, you know, one of you wrote it and then asked the other one to, to perform on it? Or how, how did that song come to be? We've, uh, we've done everything together. Okay. We've, we've written... Every song together. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, can you see me blushing now? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so everything, everything that we've done and probably will do have been um, co-write. 
yeah, collaborative. Yeah. That, that's not ruling out, you know, she and I do a lot of work on our own, so if mm -hmm. something makes perfect sense, then, and, but I, I don't know that we would ever create anything alone that uh, will have that same tension you're talking about, or mm -hmm. that same chemistry that yeah. it would have. So. Now I think that's what really makes uh, you know makes your guys' music kind of different, a little special. Is that that team, that tension, that whatever you, you know, kind of hard to put a finger on, but um, it really adds like a, another dimension to the music and something you don't get a lot today. It's kind of a raw kind of energy, almost, I guess. Um, wow, thank you. No, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, a friend had recommended you guys to me. I, I checked it out and. You know, right off the bat, the first couple tracks I listened to, I was was really impressed. So, um, thanks. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what was I going to ask? Oh, okay. Here's a little uh, another little question for you, Joy. In one sentence, how would you describe your music career up to this point? Just in one sentence. In one sentence. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you did, you did not prepare me for this. No. <laughs> um, in one sentence. One word. One word or one <laughs> sentence? One syllable. How about that? <laughs> no. Um, <Wow>. One. Yeah. <laughs> I answered for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, how would you de how would you describe like you know? I don't know how to answer that question. I has it say, been enjoyable? Um, has it been tough? Has it been a learning I would experience? I say it has been a meandering journey from uh, a teenager growing into a young adult finding. Uh, her way and feeling in the dark until finally realizing I've come to something that I really enjoy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, I know. I'll, I'll accept that. He didn't that, say I couldn't do a run on. He just said a sentence. Is there like a semicolon in there? Or something? Yeah. English teacher. English teacher. <laughs> okay, um, that was a pretty good one sentence. Uh, and John, how about you? How would you describe your career in one sentence? You had, I, you I, had more time. I was just fixing to say I could have been working on my answer instead of. Editing mine. Clever and make fun of you. Trick. Um, I, you know, up till now, I think um, so far everything has been, um, and this is probably the wrong word, but I've been incredibly self indulgent and selfish and really calling most of the shots in a way that I'm really happy with the music that I've made to this point. And you know, whether it's a career arc that I expected or didn't expect, I've been really lucky in that I've had, I've been able to make the music I wanted to make, and that's really what's happening with this project too. And will forever more be the way that I um, choose um, what I'm going to be a part of. Is that if it's really uh, if I really feel it in my heart. Okay, that was, that, was a way, that might have been a, a run-on sentence. That was a way yeah. better answer, and B, that was like a paragraph. <laughs> it was crap. It was no, awesome. It was, it was good. good. There were some hyphens and was some dot, dot, dots. Yeah. Um, it looks like we've got about like five minutes left. Does that sound about right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, Joy, you've got a company called uh, Sensi was it Sensibility Music. Um, yeah, we left you for a second. Are you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Hey, are you guys there? Can you guys hear me? Hey. Hey, Josh. Yeah, can you hear me? Hey, can you hear us? Yes. Can you hear me? Oh. We, you, you went to the stratosphere and back and we didn't hear anything at all. <laughs> can you hear me now, though? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was just asking about um, Joy, your company, Sensibility Music. Is that playing any role in the Civil Wars at all, or is that kind of a separate kind of thing? Um, I think it's definitely a part of what we're doing. Um, Sensibility Music is um, a company that I actually started with my husband, um, who's had several years in uh, in the industry of music business and also has done a and and marketing and radio and has um, a good bit of experience under his belt. So starting the company, uh, we wanted to make it a platform for um, unique and independent artists to have unique opportunities and to build those and to build their career in the way that they wanted to do it um, without the meat grinding sort of tendencies that not all big labels do, but certain um, old school methods have kind of precipitated. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we're under sort of the sensibility umbrella in what we're doing um, and Nate 
my husband is managing uh, what we're doing as the civil wars. Okay. So it's definitely a part of what we're doing. Um, and it's, it's acting as a label at the moment in some ways, um, but mostly just in kind of the marketing and management arm of that. So, yeah. Okay, great. Um, yeah, they share 50% of all of our products. <laughs> <laughs> I, take, I take 50 and Nate takes 50. Yeah. It works out well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do that. Oh, man. Um, yeah, going a little bit of a different direction here uh, before we run out of time. Uh, I want to point out that the you know the civil wars you guys seem to really embrace social media like Facebook and Twitter, uh, similar tools like that. Um, would you guys say that all of that plays a pretty big role in, in networking with your fans and, and other bands, or is it just more of like an experiment kind of thing with you, or kind of how do you guys use it? Um, I think it's about I think it's you know the best way to communicate what's going on in our lives and in our uh, music, um, it's the quickest way to mm -hmm. get to the most people. And, and you're reaching people that are invested. I mean, like, with a lot of stuff we could have been doing, like, the, the people that choose to follow what we're saying are people that are fans. And so that's really who we need to connect with. And then yeah, people come on board uh, a little bit at a time. We can credit Nate, Joyce, husband who manages uh, us. Helping set up a lot of that. All of that okay. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty slow about, um, because it, to, to me it's always hilarious to me that anybody cares what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah. it's hard sometimes yeah. for that to sink in. So I do think though that it was very much a grand experiment for us to um, to record and release our second show that we ever did live, mm -hmm. yeah, um, and to you know send it out via the internet mm -hmm. and then kind of see what would happen to it, that was very much an experiment um, for us. But you know, to, I, I don't know how many downloads it's had. Um, I think we're are we over like it's close to forty. Yeah, 000. I think it's around forty thousand oh, downloads, wow. and that's not even been like a few months. Yeah, so. Um, so that was an experiment, but that was a really great example of how um, viral marketing works in a new era where you don't necessarily have to spend a million dollars on marketing like yeah. you used to. Yeah. At a record label, we sent it out and it connected with people and then people shared it and it just sort of grassroots um, allowed us to, um, I don't know, maybe create interest if we can be so bold, but it's been really fun to you know, to like go to Akron, Ohio, where we've never played before and see people mouthing the words to some of our songs. Yeah. So that part's really cool. And that inspires me to stay up um, and really consistent on Facebook and Twitter because if people are investing in us, I feel like I want to invest back in them and we do too as a band. So yeah, that's it's, great. A, it's, a good, it's a good cycle, I think. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think we're all figuring this out as we go because 10 years ago, all the rules were different. Mm -hmm. There would have been no way that we could have spread the word about us as quickly and as uh, successfully as we have. So I, I think it's exciting um, the tools that we have at our disposal now. I, mean, I think we're I think everyone's just starting to grasp how valuable they can be and how we can parlay it into you know keeping the keeping the career arc yeah. and skyward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you guys are doing a great job, and I'm, I'm looking forward to you know following you and keeping keeping up to date on the latest news with the civil wars. Thanks.